Okay, this lecture will be on working off of right triangles and trying to figure out angles and side legs. Uh, we're going to be dealing just with 90 degree triangles, which means one of the angles in the triangle has to be 90 degrees. And with that, by rule, all angles of a triangle have to equal 180 degrees. So you have 180 minus 90. That leaves the sum of these other two angles has to equal 90 degrees. Okay? All these formulas with the sine, cosine, and tangent pretty much work off the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay? c squared, or the c, is always your hypotenuse. in the Pythagorean Theorem. So to figure this out, basically go 2 squared plus 3 squared is equal to c squared. This is 4 plus 9 is equal to c squared. 13 is equal to c squared. So now to get rid of that square, you got to do the square root. So you take 13, take the square root, and you end up with 3.606 is equal to C. Okay? So there. So let's say if we were given the same triangle, but we weren't given this side. We know what this length is, we know what this length is, but we don't know what this is. We're going to call that A. You're going to use that same formula a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. a squared plus 3 squared is equal to 3.606 squared. a squared plus 9 is equal to 13. To get rid of the 9, we're going to do a minus 9. a squared is equal to 4, square root both sides, A would be equal to 2. Okay? So basically by using the Pythagorean theorem, if you know two sides of a right angle triangle, you can always figure out the other side. Just by plugging in whatever value I have and doing the math from there. So let's take the same, for, the same triangle and try to figure out the angles. All right, I want to be using this chart that I handed out. Okay, so now we know all three sides. Okay, and we want to find out what our angles are. We'll call this angle A, call this angle B. And basically, if you look on your chart, it deals with hypotenuse, side opposite, and side adjacent. Side opposite and side adjacent all depends on what angle you're looking at. If you're looking at angle A, this would be side adjacent, side opposite, this is always your hypotenuse. If we're trying to figure out B, side opposite, side adjacent, and your hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always opposite of the 90 degree angle. So if I look at my chart, I see that the sine of angle A is going to be equal to the side opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So you got 2 divided by 3.06. So you can take your calculator. And you find out that angle A is equal to 33.7 degrees. Okay. So now, using this theory, that these two angles have to equal 90 degrees, you could take 90 degrees minus 33.7. And you'll find out that this angle is equal to 56.3 degrees. Okay, but well, let's say we want to use the formula 
to find out what this angle is. We'll use that same formula, sine of angle B is equal to side opposite divided by hypotenuse. And you come up with B is equal to 56.3 degrees, just like you had up here. Okay. Let's say maybe we know side adjacent and side opposite. We don't know the hypotenuse, and we didn't want to, for some reason, you don't want to use that Pythagorean theorem to find it out. Okay. So now we don't know that the hypotenuse is 3.606. So we're going to look on our, we're going to do the tangent is equal to side opposite over side adjacent. So if we take angle tangent of angle B, is equal to side opposite divided by the adjacent. 3 divided by 2. That comes out to B is equal to 56.3 degrees. So there's always different formulas that you can plug in depending on what information you have. Okay. Now, let's try to figure out our lengths of our, our legs. Let's say we were given the angle. Okay? Let's just say we were given this information right here. Okay? And we want to know what our hypotenuse is, but we don't want to use Pythagorean theorem. We're going to use sines, tangents, and cosines. All right, I can find out what this angle is, just like we did before. You do the math minus that. 56.3 degrees. I can tell that right away just by knowing that. Okay. Now you look down on your chart, the bottom half, to find out the length of hypotenuse. If I do the side opposite, divided by the sine of my angle, will give you my hypotenuse. Okay, so I'm going to deal with the side opposite, so I want to do this angle. So C, if you want to call that C, is equal to side opposite 2 divided by the sine of my angle. And that comes up, C is equal to 3.606. Okay, same thing that we had before. Okay, let's take the same formula, try to figure out another length. Let's say we were given say we were given this information. Okay, we were given two sides and an angle. You always need three pieces of information out of the triangle to figure it out. Okay. I can figure out what this angle is real easy. 90 minus that, 37.67 degrees. All right, now I want to find this. So now I look at my chart. I'm going to look for side adjacent, so I'm going to use this angle. And it tells me that the hypotenuse times the cosine of that angle will give me this side. Okay? Call this A. A is equal to the hypotenuse, 3.606, times the cosine of my angle. And you come up with A is equal to 2, just like we did before. Okay, so by using this chart, 
Pythagorean theorem, combination of the two, you can always figure out if you are given three pieces of information, whether it be two angles and a side, or two sides and one angle, you can figure out any 90 degree triangle, you can figure out all the sides. Um, the big thing is to get comfortable with your calculator, knowing how that works. Um, so that's once you get that figured out, it's just basically plugging in the numbers and uh, getting all the values. So thank you.